Hello, hope everyone's having a half decent day today. Right now it is raining. Almost looks like snow, but I think it's too too warm. Uh hello TKJ, how's it going? First you are, you are, yes you are first. Gonna be working on some uh, game dev today. <laughs> Good. Yay! <laughs> also got uh, Frank or Vase Z working, so I got uh, I only tested with one emote just to see what working. It's uh, this Pyrus sip. Um, yeah. So I have I have a couple things that I wanted to do today. Uh, where is it? Uh, rebound collisions? I think we're gonna wait until we actually get, like, a half-decent mesh going. Um. Oof. 
fixing the capital laser, laser misalignment. I think that's what we're going to work on first. We're just... Alright. Who is the frog cult? Is it Dave? Uh, no. It was started initially by Solyer and Sphix. But after that, uh, I guess people just kind of petered off of it. Why do you ask? I also don't know who Dave is. Another streamer. I've never heard of him. The, the frog is a she? Oh, I, okay, my apologies. Capital should actually be stock game object dot transform that forward yes wild streamer mail has appeared how's it going rose okay bye oh what why okay bye Oh, that is very much not the right... What the fuck? Instantiate beam object. something. Still aiming down and right.
I can't wait to actually design like a massive cannon for this thing. It's gonna look so badass. Those are creating the beam. Alright, why is this doing this? Still aiming down and left, even though it's not. Why is it aiming down and left? Is it aiming at the world space? The zero zero one. I guess... Yeah, that's not right. It's, it's looking at the position. Let's change this to target angle to start off with.
I might have to do this. Let me just comment that out. Did I save them? I did not save that one. That's way too radical. It's a little bit better, but should be 10 to give it. Give me a second, guys. And it's not here. Alright, I gotta put on my programming socks. Yeah. Did my thing never go off? Apparently did not. Fuck you, string cord. Is it still, it still exists as a lot? Yes, it does.
Final hop, I've been flooded by starving artists. Uh, you okay? What's up? Like, what, what do you need to... I was a tweet about the cafe idea and needed artists, and I got way more attention than I thought. So are you just trying to weed out, like, who you think is, uh... You're trying to think is a good idea? Does Twitter artists refresh 24-7 looking for commissions? Yeah. Went above and beyond to follow my Twitch and message me on Discord. Well, at least they're, like, trying to get to know you. And if, if, if they're, like, actually going into your stream, I'd say, like, oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a benefit because it's, like, actually, uh, like, they're actually taking the time to look at your stream and figure out what you're about. You know what I mean? That looked very close, I think. So um, how many actual responses did you get? Still off. Why is it still off? If I'm lower, is it lower? Nope, still higher. Why is it higher? Where's the frickin' hitbox on this thing? Close to 15 and tons of likes and comments upon posting. Wow. Okay, so the damn thing isn't even centered, right? How did I manage that? I'm going to assume it's fine. Actually, just for shits and giggles, what's the...
Let's make let's make it able to rotate. Like a PT clap general. Alright. It's not even fucking uh Fuck is it aiming? Yeah, and now I'm confused. Boink, how's it going? <laughs> that is actually quite good, I like that. I'm cold and hungry. Are you okay? Get boned, old man. Fuck you. Thank you. Pass my cock test? Hell yeah. It's awesome, dude. I can never do calculus. Excuse me. Why is beam rotation leading towards. Posting here too, just saying hi. Hello. Dinner. Nice. How you doing, artist? Any different from last? Changes the right fucking thing. Good vibe in house stream. Eh, stream is okay so far. Extreme, except stream court forgot forgot that it existed. Also, guys, as a heads up, don't forget golden marshmallow is tomorrow. If you want to know what's up and like the explanation of things, uh, 
Stay tuned for the stream. Her position. I wanted to do this. Uh, came out. Oh no. Transform dot position. No dot. Nope, still aiming up.
Something's wrong with the up factor, that's what's wrong. What happens if I normalize it? Fuck off. Okay, can I just okay, fuck off. They can be multiplied, right? I don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to do this. I hate working with Quaternions so much.
I tried this. This is leak? Huh.
Why does it normalize? Did I not attach it? Why is it not working now? Oh, because it didn't mark it, that's why.
Oh, hey Uri, how's it going? Just friendly ghost raid, don't worry about it. <laughs> Appreciate that, Prisix. How's it going, guys? What were you playing? Playing some Ghosts of Tsushima. Nice. I think I've ever played that before. Did you have fun? Did you have fun though? Any any highlights from your, your stream? Well, testing out the capture card. Oh, nice. Yeah, the uh. Oh, you got a new one? Is a sort of chest tumor like okay. Huh. I hope you got the things working at the very least. Why the hell is this giving me such shit angles? Normalize them. Why? Say Mushi. I, I hate Quaternion so damn much. Everything is working and ready for tomorrow? Hell yeah. that I'm having right now is that like the, the Euler angle is accepting it right but the other the thing I'm trying to set it to is normalizing it so here actually I'm not sure if I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something here Okay, so actually to preface, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the, the beam to shoot out directly the front of the, uh... Wait, what if I just... Let me try something. Let me try something extremely fucking stupid.
hope still doing that. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the beam to come out directly to the front of the ship. Or at least relatively. But when I do the beam rotation here, like, see, the, the, the Euler angles accept the proper target direction. Like, the proper angles. Try look rotation. I've tried that, but it does the same thing. I, I don't get why it's... to attach it. Why is it normalizing the rotation? It's fucking dumb. Just use the Euler angles. Why does it have to be so hard? I'm going to lose my mind. I think I know what I did wrong there. Let me let me see if that works. If I did,
Okay, so I guess I don't need that. Okay, so at least it looks relatively centered. So it's the X I should rotate. Actually, hold on. What if I did... Oops. There we go. If I did local rotation. Getting closer. Getting closer, that's a
Let's see how things go here. Now it's set not setting the right damn angle. I know what I've done wrong. Hi there, I'm just another dev looking around Twitch searching for other game dwellers. Well, welcome, how's it going? How's it going? It's going alright, just hating on Unity's uh, Quaternions right now. I think I'm getting closer to an actual uh, uh, solution. Missing a thing on the Euler. No, it's not invoking a.
Now why isn't it letting me do... I right, decided to scrap all the code I made related to top-down engine and now we're rebuilding all the systems I had previously. Yeesh. Yeah, right now I'm trying to do a like a, a ship game where you're, where you're flying a ship. Like, I'm, I'm just trying to get all the programming set and done first. Or mostly first, so I can actually have, like, somewhere to build. method yep basically quaternions are just so fucking annoying Five thousand things that I named after him. Yeah. Beam length, max radius. Why is it not giving it the proper angle now? Fuck. Yeah, target rotation zero. Why? Who's the target again? The target angle, like, okay, the target will be the, whatever it's targeting, be it like an ally ship, be it uh, the player. When the player goes within a certain radius, like an angle from within the front of the, the, the ship, regardless of where it is in the, that cone of view, it'll shoot directly forwards.
Where's target rotation ever set? That's what I'm trying to figure out. fucking commented that shit out. Why the hell did I do that? Why am I so dumb? Customers vector three local rotation is quaternion. Yeah. All right. Let's see how this looks before I start attaching shit. I hope so too. Wait, what calls create beam? Whenever a uh, in in this in the capital ship, create beam is called when it's uh, during the phase when because uh, I'm having a switch statement here, so it's C create beam cooldown. Uh, create beam is what's create beam called? Oh, it's. Excuse me, it's called there, but it's the it's the firing phase. So if it's it's if it's the angle of which this this is in, uh, then firing phase uh, enters phase two, basically, or phase one, I guess, or phase zero. And once it create beam, it creates the beam, fires, and then starts cooldown.
What about the other class? And beam behavior. Uh, create beam is called within the creation of the object itself. So when the and so on the capital ship, it, like it actually instantiates the item, which is what causes it to create beam. Yeah, and start. I should figure out a way that doesn't cut off the left side of the screen there so you guys can actually see what's going on. That doesn't seem right. Oh, well, looks like it's an infinite beam. Why is the local... Why is Beamstar set to 180? Do you ever modify that rotation? Yeah, it, it's it's modified as the ship, uh, like the entirety of the ship moves. Oh, what if it's? What if I'm just using the? What if I just use the actual rotation instead of local? Oh, it changed angles. I think we got it. It's not the best and things are horribly misaligned, but we got it. Fuck yes. Thanks, thanks for questioning, Mushy. It definitely, definitely helps me think.
I'm an inquisitive rubber ducky. <laughs> and as a programmer, I understand that reference. <laughs> That looks so badass. W w would have been harder to under to do that reference if you didn't understand it. <laughs> Does it work with a different angle? Wow! It's only cubes, but it looks epic. <laughs> I appreciate that. When, when, I, when I actually create the capital ships, they're actually going to be much, much larger. the skill and the transforms. <laughs> the rotations though I dare to claim, yeah. Oh, oh no, I guess I, I wanted to just get that coding done. Cause the more the more I get like actually set and done like I can actually cause it, eventually I want to get like the demo all set and ready to go for a Kickstarter. If I can just get like things polished like this, I'll be so happy. I think eventually I'm gonna have to start designing the actual environment and see how things go. Oh, but I might have to fix the freaking linear test. Hmm. 
missing reference. Uh, Uh, it's not showing me where. Go find out. <laughs> Next week I'm working on the linear movement collisions. I do kind of want to add, uh, do some design with uh, I, I kind of want to do some shit designs for uh, like the the Skybreakers characters. How the hell? How in the world do you have collisions that work with terrain and not boxes? Fucked if I know, dude. I, it's like, so let me, let me pull up Unity quickly. I'm just scratching my leg. Like in, in the arena test, like when you, when you collide against the floor, you bounce up slightly so that you can, that it like, that you're able to like successfully angle yourself. And when you, when you collide with, with the, uh, of the wall at an angle. It tries its best to push you away from the wall. Now, when I turn off, oops. when I turn off the terrain and turn on the collider boxes, Like you can you can barely see a like a hop. But once once you like it just presses itself into the. I oh, thanks I for the lurk. Could it be that the terrain has already has some physics material on it. It has a crater test material. The collider box is not chromatic, though. Does that fuck with things? 
Oh, the kinematics is what does it. What? Green <laughs> But why is that? I I don't know. Sorry, it took so long I had to do epic tech support, no worries. Well, I mean, that solves that. I appreciate that, uh, Mushy, for, for, for that, that, that thinking. I guess it means something for myself that I get invested over there. Even though fuck it's 3am. Go to sleep, dude, but... Come on. <laughs> Resorting to fixed updates. I hope it doesn't apply to... Input... Uh, to get it keys to. It does. Uh, fixed input is, is reliant on the frame rate. And the... The, uh... Um, the, uh... What the fuck are they called? VR headsets are, are based off of, uh, like, they have to have a set frame rate above a certain threshold or else people get nauseous. Any, any little bit of lag and uh, things start going haywire, so that's why I'd have to do fixed updates, so that they're, at, uh, they're on this exact frame rate. Be listening to y'all. My brain is flat right now. Oh, you you have a, you have a lurch brain. Just you don't you don't know much about programming, so. Fix update is exactly fifty, if I recall correctly. Your game isn't constant fifty. No, fix update is. Is, okay, so basically, fixed update is on every single fr uh, like normal frame that that it would be. So, but if if you're having like dropped frames, uh, your your update would go to the next available uh, frame. I also got a lot of headache, so I'll flat my brain myself. Take some Advil or something. Dude. So, okay, so actually, let me. I'm, I'm gonna pull out a fucking drawing tablet for this. Hell yeah, guys, let's do this. <laughs> All right. Also, I don't know why my, oh, give me a second, my Twitch is fucking... I just having dec decent handwriting? Yeah, I know. Okay, so anyways, say, say this is like each frame, so it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, whatever. So like... 
fixed updates would do like, okay, so let's say, I don't know, uh, four, five, and seven are, are, uh, Ellie gave up on, Ellie gave up on writing and just scribbled on the something important. <laughs> All right, so say say we wanted to perform an action, like so. Fix fixed update will will perform an update here, uh, or an action here. An update will perform an action here. But if say we wanted to, do, okay, so we'll do it, do it, do it, do it. The fixed update will continue to do it through the lost frames, through some sort of I can't remember what it was called, but uh, the update would actually. Uh, take what would be this one and jump it here and here. So like if you had a bunch of, if you had like a bunch of lost frames in a row, this action here or whatever you programmed it to be would happen to like when it would at the next available frame. Or tick, or whatever you want to fucking call them. Make a lot of else if statements. The problem is, is that Yandev fucked it up because he used only if else statements. Like, I use I use a lot of else if statements myself, but not in like checking every single little detail. I do it like in a broad stroke. Like else if statements are still very much useful. I've experienced myself for that input that I get key and fixed update. If I don't press it on the keyboard at the correct times, it just won't inge register an input. Now, see, I'm. Well. When it, com when it comes to stress testing and like pre-alpha tests, I will I'll try my best. Oh, thank you for that trade. Consume chalice. From where I'd be pressing not when it pulls for input in that case. Well, once 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 I get into, because I'm not a, I'm not a programmer. Like, I went into game development. I learned how to program, but I'm not that excellent of a programmer, anyways. I just wanted to do most of this game myself, just so that I can have a legacy. Uh, but I'm I'm I will be doing things like, uh, once the game is released or get, when it's close to getting released, having like a professional programmer, like take a look at it. Rip, rip my code apart just so that's actually functional or like more streamlined same for now at least I just pay attention to the particular stupid shit <laughs> well I'm sure we'll get there that's for damn sure I'm just gonna do some quickly here
Make the spaghetti into a wonderful fabric? No. As programmers, we just mash the spaghetti hard enough until it looks like something. Anything, hopefully. I should really get myself, you know, I was going to do some concept art today, but I should really get myself a concept artist. This is, this is what I have for outfits, but I like to actually, like, design the characters, you know? Programming an art in one stream, that's a huge one. I'm a jack of all trades. My, my forte is environment design. Once once I get the the skybreakers uh, like surveys mostly set and done, then I'll uh, see the cookies a good cook, program an artist, and yet I'm still single. Ladies. <laughs> uh, sorry, that was that was terrible. Well, yeah, I I, I am I am quite straight. Is there joining the other team? I have considered it, but I. This is just my personal experience. I find other guys disgusting. But, you know. Just, 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 just in general. I'm not talking, like, specific people. I got most, most of my, like, junior high, high school, post-sec uh, life has been pretty much... Um, the, the, the guy friends I have made... Are, How do I put it? Like, not total pieces of shit, but most of the time, like, how many did CZI smoke great get yet again? How many days a week? I just kind of don't like movement. No, that's that's completely understandable. I, I when I when I make the joke like, oh yeah, like Ace and Aero people can still enjoy butt movement just for the like mathematical curvatures. I I I, I totally. I hope you guys know that I. Totally, totally joking about that. I have that weirdo that doesn't take personality first. Oh, the, that takes person. And so why? Keep in mind, like, it's I, I, like. Like I find people who are trans to be like insanely strong people. I could never see myself doing that. Yet hunkers to anyone, I will hunt you down. Can I add moderate-sized ones? Not like extreme and like massive cleavage. Because well, this this outfit, this outfit here, won't won't have cleavage. It, it'll be it'll be basically zipped up almost to the like the, the base of the neck. Is that fair? But like personality is like, in my opinion, like the key to any happy relationship. Like people who base a relationship off of looks and whatnot. Disgusting. I want men bulge. <sighs> Problem is in the skybreakers there's only two two males. There's sorry, there's the command 
Actually, give me a second. Let me let me pull let me pull it up. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you guys some spoilers here. I just gotta pull it up and make sure I'm not like doxing my real name. At least not yet. Once once I get like near to completing this game, I will put out my real name. So yeah, here you guys are getting some of the good juice. Uh, mechanics. Uh, this is not even finished. Where is it? Okay, so the private. Uh, other names are Ace and Rookie. Actual game design document. It's mostly complete. I started started working on this game before that I finished it, but. Most, most things beyond this point are like aesthetics things, like voice acting and effects and whatnot. Perhaps you, man, I wouldn't be able to do that. I've seen so many games fall apart because they don't have one of these. Anyways, so the protagonist, genderless basically because uh, they're the player. The player is a, 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 the silent protagonist, but it's you. Personality none. I hate that guy already. It's you. It's you. So if, if you wanted to like flip off your your Skybreaker's allies, you for sure can. But uh, Medea Corwell is the main antagonist. Uh, female, about thirty-two ish. Actually, should I, have I talked about the races? Okay, so uh, I'll, I'll, I'll briefly before I go any further, let me let me describe the the races. So there's the luminans, which are basically very very close to real life humans. Can't say that you've already shown personality, I guess. <laughs> Uh, the Kobolds, which are, uh, okay, so a lot, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll equate these to a lot of, like, fantasy races. Kobolds are kobold, kobolds, like, uh, basically lizard people. Uh, Raelurics, which are similar to orcs. Uh, Kodarans, which are, uh, bi like, bipedal rock people. Uh, Aguaforians, which are which is like a cat race, uh, and Blitzens, which are uh, think things like celestial fantasy, pale white, eye color changing, etc., etc. But anyways, so so the the main antagonist is is a Blitten. Who was, and the Blittons are all basically ostracized for their, for their ex-violent tendencies. Get like my pets that is my station to land on, and that is why uh, I'll, I'll get to that character you'll see. So that it is L Lady Medea Corwell, uh, female. Uh, secondary characters we got uh, Commander Galia Angavin. Which is a luminan. Uh, she's she's basically the one who's like, oh yeah, go do this mission. Unless there's a couple missions that like you kind of rebel against her quickly. Uh, Tawny Brigand, another luminan. Uh, she has dark skin. I wasn't. Like, I don't want to. I don't want to use the term. Like. She is a black person, but I, I don't know like what would be appropriate to say in terms of description. So I said dark skin. Grown ass people are just sort of good how the grown ass people keep losing their keys. Trust me, the only thing like I keep all my keys on a carabiner on my belt. Raises white. Quite a range of group, yeah. 
So this uh, Ta Tawny is probably going to be like my my favorite character to like design and get set because she's kind of like this this spunky. Uh, I want to I want to say like oh, think think um, Falco from uh, Star Fox. She's kind of that, but a little bit more upbeat, you know. But she, she's like the, the fearful, like, att attack first, ask questions later. Uh... Uh, Elo Neon Tail, which is yeah, a cat cyborg, basically. Um, Elo is, yes, he is based off of... Uh, my cat, Captain Elohim. Uh, Beckett Lethos, uh, who is a non-binary rock person with green magma streaks, which I think that was a... Is, is green a decent color for, for non-binary if it's not like a non-binary color? No, basically, she's 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 the medic, and the like one of the one of the like in field repair people. Uh, but she does have like a tendency to fail experiments, getting scared of others, but not technology. Uh, the reason for that is because uh, Neon Tail was uh, he he feels he feels technology as like. The uh, like normal and like uh, I don't know how to put it. Like it's 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 either this or that with technology. But when it comes to uh, when it, when it comes to like people, he's he's uh, he doesn't like how unpredictable they are. Fucking Nick snap my neck, I'm not annoyed. Why? I'll take it because technology is a tool, yes. And although technology was used on him from and it was was a failed experiment, he dislikes the people who did that to him. Has it gotten more interested in the sport of boxing starting just now? I'm doing some jogging for dirt training. Hell yeah. Are you, are you watching me on a treadmill? Yeah, but, but so Be Beckett is Beckett Lethos is the the non-binary person who like just likes giving things to others like H like HP repair and and like boosted uh, boosted things. Why am I the responsible one? I don't know. Yeah. I didn't spend seven hundred for books. I'm at the, on a treadmill outside. Oh, okay. And then uh, this is probably the one I'm gonna add a massive bulge to is. <laughs> <laughs> first, first fix's sake is uh, Giro Cogger, which is your your he's he, he he joined as to like learn about the technology of other races, but it's, instead of being like an engineer side of things, he's more of a science side, which I know is a little bit strange to think about. But he's 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 like the slower and the more studious, the studious of the two. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> sorry, don't run on me. That's no, alright, it's alright. And then like I got other tertiary characters like uh just general story story plot characters. Um some some boss voices. Uh, Bungus Among Us. How's it going, Gumbo?
Oh, by the way, I did add a new emote for, uh, for, uh, Frank and Face Z. Anyways, I'm trying to, uh, I had, I had this, but I couldn't, couldn't come up with, uh, I need, I need like two more names, because Medea's Elite is basically the, the equivalent of like the evil counterpart to the Skybreakers. Can't believe I fucking missed you. So that's that's what I have so far. I say this document obviously fits your characters, and that's actually a tough task for me. Or is it the only appearance part? It's it's both appear it's kind of both appearance and personality. Check it out separate when it comes out. The thing is, I, I did some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like, I think I might also do like a slightly not as intuitive. Uh, PC version. If anybody's new here, that's the sequel. Like, there's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, approximately eighteen. Uh, wait, no, sixteen. Hell yeah. About about sixteen levels, each with each with different paths that lead lead to different things. Oh, Shadow the Hedgehog. Is that what this is? Oh no. What's what's Shadow the Hedgehog though? Try life from the computer potato so endurance training ain't, ain't starting off great. Don't push yourself right away. Just No holy I got some achievement cookie clicker for clicker fifty times a second. <laughs> I don't know if I was a living auto clicker. <laughs> My cat is enjoying the snow outside. Oh, the multiple paths we can interchange these? Yes, exactly. And, un unlike Shadow the Hedgehog, you don't have to complete every single frickin' mission to get the good ending. You basically... You, you basically just need to do, like, the, the hard path to the final level. Like, you, you can screw up and just go, like, all the way up to green and then just go Astral Gardens, Esther Soul, the Day is Valid, Battalion. A better game already. I uh, I enjoyed Shadow the Hedgehog for the most part up until you had to do every single path in order to get the ending, and the ending was not satisfying with the amount of work you had to put in. I 
Like, green, green is obviously easier, yellow is medium, and red is difficult. Or more difficult. So what if you all green? If you go all green, uh, like, it, the only thing that matters, really, is, like, the last three levels. Or last, last three split levels. What are the consequences? Uh, less points for upgrading. Uh, green is green is just easier difficulty. But if you, if you go from a green level to uh, if you go from green level to the to the final level, you get the the first ending, which is eh. But like if you if you do like if you go from green to yellow, you'll have a tougher time because there's less enemies here than there are here. You'll, you'll get less points for upgrading, and you actually get <clears throat> to, like, upgrade. Like, you get to web upgrade your weapon, you get to upgrade your shield and your boosters. Don't there be a secret ending in this game where you just fly away from the first one? You get the coward ending. <laughs> Didn't play the game ending. Started snowing on my training. Don't push yourself when it's snowing, it, it makes breathing a lot more difficult. Don't actually consume the snow. It's <laughs> just the crash and burn ending. As soon as you leave the hangar in the first level, you just collide with the ground several times, explode, and just get the, the achievement you done fucked up. <laughs> Stuck in snow. What's wrong with a little piss now? Yeah. I want to live when there's a seat endings that just involve failing the first level somehow. Alright, uh. I, I, I have to write that eventually, but can can someone. Oh, in my in my Discord, can someone write uh, in the game the, the dev recommendations? That, oh, actually, I can do that myself. I can do that now. Nugget sucks. No. Outro is only spelled with one T. What? Oh, whatever. It's not like it fix that, it's actually an image. Is it, well, while I have the, the game design document open, does anybody have any questions about the game? Like about what I have so far? Call me later for more bitchy gra grammar Nazi remarks. Okay. Don't you have a game dev chat? Uh, yes, I do. I have the, uh, the Skybreakers official Discord, which is only available if you do the survey. What's the game called again? Skybreakers. Actually, do I have... I think, I think it looks good. I think I have questions. I'm out of brain at this time of day. No. Yeah, Mushy, it's, it's three o'clock where you are. Go to sleep. Crap, dude. But thank you for showing, showing this. No worries. And like, I, I love speaking game development. So if anybody has any questions at any time regarding Sky Rickers, I would love to like talk. Okay, I will. All right, take care, Bushy. Then have a good night's sleep. No, you? Hi. Uh, um, actually, what's, how long have you been streaming for? Just over two hours? Um, 
Hey, you know what? I don't want to fuck up the characters with, uh... With some... With, uh... My shitty drugs. Um... Your mom is Weege. All right, should we? Uh, all right. Um, should we call it quits then? towards us to rat. <laughs> yeah, I, I love their pictures, dude. Who should we raid? Oh, thank you for dropping the so Discord sauce. And the VOD sauce. I, I think I can actually post this VOD. Because I'm not actually... Uh, uh, I didn't actually dox myself this time. I am a great mod. You are a great mod. And if, if there's the Skybreakers link, if, if anybody can like do that, I would be really appreciative. The more information I have, the a lot better it is. So who should we raid? Need to finish that damn form. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good mod Weirge. Oh, I wonder if Weirge is actually a Frank or Face Z mod that we can do. So what, what do you guys think? What, who should we raid? FFCS fucking everything? Oh, that reminds me. Uh, no, you know what? Uh, well, we'll talk about it one of the next streams. Uh, tomorrow is the Golden Marshmallow. Don't forget about that, guys. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I'll be I'll be posting the the details for that uh, tomorrow. Why did my brain stop working all of a sudden? Holy shit! Also, I gotta save. Question: Do I need a laptop for G app? You would probably need. Um, any sort of uh, sauce, you know? Out of organic RAM, aww. Just download more. Side note, please don't actually try to download RAM. What should we do, guys? Who, who should we write? Anybody have any suggestions? The sauce I will make marinara. <laughs> 
Ramanera. Raid the number seven? I'm not ready. for a new game developer? Sure, okay. As long as it's Chalice Man, just raid and just shit talk him. <laughs> um, let's see. Let me know if anybody has any, any namesake that they see. Actually, you know what? Let's let's let this this guy looks good. Plot twist: Next GM is a Google Form speedrun. <laughs> There's 8-bit RAM. Wow, we actually have a lot of raiders. Uh, and let's... The raid message will be... Uh, Dev support devs, because that's a good thing to do. But I hope everybody has a good rest of their night. N night? Night. I, I can't talk, I'm flustered. I'm about to do something stupid off stream and ho hopefully not get myself banned. Hopefully not, I'm not, I'm not gonna try to like, get myself banned, but you know what I mean. Can someone watches uh, the vids and wonders what the fuck is wrong with your mods? Probably. I wonder what the fuck is wrong with my mods half the time. <laughs> uh, but I hope everybody has a good night. And uh, remember the raid message and uh, show the guys some support. Take care, kids.